to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the new cinema sins for Erring Wrong with Predator in 13 minutes or less. The very first one. The first Predator, the original Predator, the OG Predator. Of course, we're obviously. With Arnold. Yeah, with Arnold. Obviously, Predator is um the the Predator. The new one has recently just come out, and everybody and their mother is doing ones on based off of being parody stuff based off the original. Yeah, exactly. And so here we have the original Schwarzenegger classic. Mm -hmm. Now I'll be the first to admit I've only really seen bits and pieces of the original movie, with the only full part watching being the final confrontation between Schwarzenegger and the Predator. I've seen the full thing pretty much. So, so. you probably know more than I do. Like oh, yeah. I know some iconic stuff, like the 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 Dylan you son of a bitch, the whole arm grab thing. I that I only know that because of Max. And of course, so. pretty much the, the iconic get to the chopper. You know, it's that, 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 that iconic... Uh, the, like, oh, um, what, what the hell are you? Yeah, what the hell are you? You know, I can um, do it. <laughs> I've actually seen more of the second one, to be honest. Yeah, the second one was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed yeah, the second one. Yeah, I've seen one. pretty much most of the second one. So you saw what they were trying to do in the second one and did a good job. It didn't live up to the first one, but still did a good, de decent good job with it overall. So let's check this out. Yeah, let's do dive into this. Again, this is for CinemaSins Everything Wrong with Predator. So... Here we go. With Tiernan, man. Die Hard, Hunt and Run, yeah. and Predator. Even without the last action hero, 13th Warrior, and Thomas Crown Affair, he should be a legend. And it's a sin that he's not by exception. Also, yeah. pretending to be adversaries when you're really friends, measuring their dicks just for the benefit of the audience cliche. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils. Are they really arm wrestling in midair? Have you ever tried that? It's nearly impossible. It's like Ernie saw over the top four months before this came out. <laughs> General, my team always works alone. You know that. I'm afraid we all have our orders, Major. And that f***ing works. Look, if Arnie's team lives by its rules, it turns down this job and we have no movie. So of course they have to accept any and all last minute stipulations. Arnold, Apollo Creed, Jesse the Body. Man, this is kind of the Expendables before the Expendables felt the need to... <laughs> it was. Also, Arnie and the Body, two future governors, were together in two movies this year, including mm -hmm. The Running Man. Yeah. Like 1987 was giving a terrible warning to California. <laughs> only Elon Musk could have figured out. But he was only 16 and nobody listened. Nobody the listened. camouflage is face makeup designed to make you look like a wrought iron fence that is halfway through being knocked over. Who's our backup? No such thing, old buddy. This is getting better than a minute. What kind of elite crew, strike force, alpha unit, ranger, seal, delta team thing? Mouthful. Maybe sort out these details, I don't know, before the mission begins? Yeah. Okay, if this is eye black to help with glare from the sun, like baseball players use, you've gone too far. If this is like Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder, you've gone way too far. <laughs> George around here. Ladies and gentlemen, the former governor of the great Ray state of Minnesota will be seated during the fairly visible walking through the jungle portion of the movie. Mean anything to you? Well, it's just another rebel patrol. Cool, cool, cool. Is anyone going to mention the pirate plank behind the <laughs> yards up in the air? Because it's super obvious and man-made. Utterly demands you comment on it. Show off. You literally landed 15 minutes ago. I'm pretty sure your water supply is doing just fine. No need to bear grill the local wildlife so quickly. <laughs> Bird kicking. <laughs> I knew this man. Seems likely. Also, didn't the dog tag say C.E. Hopper? Maybe old Jim is just fine knocking back some brews somewhere, and poor Calvin Ezekiel Hopper got predators instead. <laughs> Ain't no way for no soldier to die. Ain't no way for anyone to die, dude. Why would any small band of soldiers need this much f***ing grain? As soon as they said, I hate the fuel. Mm -hmm. He saw a guy chopping wood, two lookouts in a nest, some guys eating, and a headshot assassination, but he did not see any fuel dumps. Yes, there is one, but he doesn't know that, and neither do any of the rest of these guys. Dutch sets the truck rolling into the camp with a bomb on it, but no one ever sees him or looks back to see where the truck came from. And for him, that the old ass truck that isn't even being used as a truck anymore still has perfect alignment and continues straight into its target. This How did sure. you guys even plan anything when you had a grenade launcher? Just fire a dozen grenades in here and sort it all out later. Jesus. And yes, there's a hostage they want to save, but I'll be damned if anything they've done so far shows any regard for the life of that hostage. They don't even know where the hostage yeah, is. That's true. The target's the center of the palapa. Apparently, Carl Weathers is a great ventriloquist, because I didn't see his lips move an inch when he said that. I swear to God, no one in this scene filmed this scene on the same day. Fire! Fire! <laughs> this is as good a time as any to point out that the subtitles for this movie keep switching between telling me these gorillas are speaking Spanish and Russian. Like, they aren't even trying to tell me what the English would be. They just keep saying, speaking Spanish and speaking Russian. <laughs> they don't even tell me the language they're speaking if I don't get an 
know the word. Also, why hasn't the Predator killed any of these motherfuckers? He took out an entire other team of American Special Forces sent here to save the hostages. But what, the Predators don't know these Russian Spanish assholes are here? Okay, fine. Let's foolishly say he was strong enough to stay upright with the kind of recoil that the... Yeah, that thing's got a huge Still, amount of recoil. That kind of minigun spits out up to 6,000 rounds per minute. Not only are there not nearly enough shells on the ground, but considering we see this gun firing for about two minutes during this butcher block bloodbath, the 12,000 rounds of ammunition alone would have weighed almost 900 pounds. Also, this type of gun is so powerful it usually needs its own dedicated power source to operate much like... <laughs> All his girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, the screenwriter knows this. Maybe the director too. But this character surely does not know this. Knock knock. Who's there? I'm a. I'm a who? I'm gonna go ahead and say if you take the time to deliver a lame joke to armed men before shooting them, that they will shoot you first. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> Fifth Central American. I'm a goddamn Chinaman. Too much racism there for me to even unpack. Sit it three times and let's move on. No trace. <laughs> Get the man ready to move. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this is my thinking face. Behold, how much it appears as if I'm thinking. Mickey. Son of a bitch is dug in like an Alabama chick. You mean Nick Saban? My man. You see what happens later. Yeah. Or lose the rest of the film. Just FYI, this guy has the stabbing sensitivity of data from Star Trek The Next Generation. How did he expertly stab the scorpion without stabbing any of this guy's shirt or flesh? Exactly how many times has he done this shit before? <laughs> I'm Sonny Landon, and this is my laughter noise. Behold, how much it sounds as if I'm laughing. Over a minute and 12 seconds of Predator Vision, which is basically black screen with some sporadic thermal splotches barfed up onto the image. This is basically blindness, if you ask me. Wouldn't seeing only heat signatures and hearing only garbled audio put you at a fairly large disadvantage overall? This movie is 85% people silently watching. <laughs> 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 Also, don't you kind of get the sense the Predator is f***ing with them? He easily dispatched the team set before them. He's been watching them since they arrived, but instead of laser-offing these killmongers, he's just watching them march through the jungle. He's like a horror movie ghost, f***ing around for a while, instead of just immediately killing the ones needing killing. I guess it's nothing major. It's nothing, comma, major? Or it's nothing major? Laziest escape attempt ever, basically. She might as well have blown air on the guy or tickled him. Great whistle by Arnold here. Let's slow that down and admire how he makes that noise without ever- Yeah, he doesn't even move his lips. Why is Predator making these clicking noises and giving away its position right before it attacks? Ah, red paint! Oh, this is near blood. How the f*** do you know that? Major, you better take a look at this. You better take a look at this, cliche. Just huh. look at Arnold's outfit here. It's pristine. No sign of dirt, sweat, blood, or anything else. You'd think he just spent the day watching NFL Red Zone and not <laughs> blowing up a gorilla compound after crawling in the dirt and sneaking through the jungle for a couple hours. That's true. Hey, this is waiting. Animal fake out jump scares are the most annoying jump scares. This is the greatest squandering of ammo ever put to film in under a minute. Good thing all these weapons have the unlimited ammo cheat code activated on them. Yeah, this. Shooting this much without a target in sight might be considered wasteful. This prisoner girl that is somehow being held captive with a couple zip ties is the only one to see the glowing alien blood on the leap. And because she's seen terrible decisions in sci fi movies before, she's gonna touch that. Shit. I'm Bill Duke, and this is my sad day. Behold, how much it appears is <laughs> in order to be as dexterous with these tools and machines as possible. Wouldn't you think this creature? might shave down those finger claws a bit. I'm just saying, someone needs the predicure. Where's the girl? The predicure. <laughs> I could waste several minutes debating which of these fools is more to blame for the girl disappearing, but ultimately it's both of them. He's using the trees. Um, duh. I don't know what it was. Dun dun dun. She speaks English. But setting aside how and why she speaks English, why did she wait so long to reveal it to her captors? There's no reason for Anna to suddenly change and be helpful, other than the plot needed it to happen. It's not like Arnie even asked nicely. Ah, he did the old, I pulled out my knife and it seems like I might kill you, but I'm actually cutting you free trick. If you please, <laughs> we can kill it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, maybe it wasn't blood at all. Maybe she saw alien earwax or snot. Maybe it was space gasoline powering some kind of space <laughs> gizmo. My point is, jumping straight to blood was silly. Jumping from there straight to we can kill it is borderline certifiable. What's our old pal Freddy up to during this oh-so-exciting jungle snare-setting montage? Is there any reason for them, or us, to believe he isn't watching them lay all these traps? <laughs> she literally went from prisoner in zip-tie cuffs to speaks English now and is helping with the physical labor stuff in 60 seconds. It's true. Don't you think he's gonna come in through here? There are tripwires in every tree for 50 yards. This is the only way in. Okay, first of all, in to what? Where you are? What makes you so certain it's after you when it spent all day watching you build all these traps and never once tried to kill you? It's true. Second of all, you are in a jungle. You're not on, like, a skinny f***ing island or peninsula. You're in a jungle. That thing could easily go around and ignore your 50-yard trees, and this dialogue is almost offensive. Trophies de los hombres means the demon who makes trophies of man. We just call that the Oscars. Oh! Dutch! Double Dutch! Look how far out here Dutch has wandered beyond their traps into the middle of the supposed battlefield and nothing. So the Predator either doesn't want to win or doesn't want to win yet, right? Sure enough, though, after all these hours spent setting obvious traps out in the open, the Predator does choose that moment to show up. Like, I think the Predator has a script credit. That's how well he knows the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Major. Oh. 
I can make it. Um, leave it, right? You're fighting an alien that could blend into the forest background. The wounded are all on their own, as far as I'm concerned. They didn't kill you because you weren't armed. No sport. He's right, but it kind of ruins the fun that he's right, and there's no good reason he should have figured that out on his own <laughs> anyway. But whatever, movie's got an Arnold. If the Predator is this visible while not even moving, how did it set off that trap earlier right next to Dutch and he didn't see it? Honestly, once you know what you're looking for, I'm not sure this camouflage would do all that much good. <laughs> I think a severed arm continuing <laughs> to shoot a semi-automatic weapon as much as the next guy, but that finger definitely came off the trigger when it bounced. Yeah. Mm. That's it. After all that Billy build-up, we don't even get to see another unrealistic fight with outdated visual effects. You're really just gonna schlock block us like that? <laughs> Wait, what? That Predator plasma cannon thingamajig blew a hole the size of Minnesota in Jesse Ventura and blew the right to <laughs> clean off the Street. Yeah. Not leaving Dutch here with just a flesh wound. No! This is a chopper! Classic Schwarzenegger line. <laughs> exactly, she's supposed to do what she does indeed arrive at the chopper. Oh, hey guys, I know I'm just a local gal with the blood of your colleagues all over <laughs> my soul, but I'm it's true. To yeah. This here chopper, so all aboard? The predator already shot him. He's crawling because the predator shot him. So why is the predator doing nothing right now whilst he crawls towards a weapon? Oh. <laughs> As Arnie flies off the edge, you can clearly see he is above the trees and rocks. But of course, when he lands, he has somehow been transported to above. Yeah. The question yeah. is, why even let the POV shot go on long enough to see the ground below? I mean, I know this was made at a time when you were probably editing with rocks and sticks and such, but gee, I make it so obvious. This stuntman looks nothing like Arnold, and I think the movie <laughs> is kind of rubbing it in my face. Oh man, here we go. I'm about to sh** on one of the coolest and most iconic moments in movie history. First of all, the mud is almost certainly not cold enough to lower or mask his body temperature enough to make him invisible to the Predator. Second of all, even if it were cold enough, he didn't coat his skin fully or properly. Third, even if the mud were cold enough and evenly enough applied all over Dutch, from him crawling on it, that doesn't mean the Predator would be blind to Dutch. It just means the Dutch shape he sees is now a different, more blue color, colder than the branches and rocks, or warmer, and not the same color as humans normally read, but still, the Predator should see a Dutch-sized blob right in front of him. Yeah. what about his f***ing eyeballs? Doesn't at least some heat radiate from the eyes? What is this substance on me that might have blinded my foe? I shall acquire some from my shoulder to take a closer look so the audience knows for sure why this happened. The good news is at least they didn't make him actually verbalize. He couldn't see me. Damn it! If he yeah. a psychopathic alien hunter was trying to track you down and somehow figured out that mud kept him from seeing you, wouldn't you just slather that stuff on before going anywhere? I'm just saying if it were me, I'd be so covered in mud it would look like Mr. Hanky was going Yeah, I just tried to go through. movie went full Home Alone. But that only shows how young you are because this movie is where Home Alone got all its initial ideas from. Mm -hmm. Home Alone was literally pitched as Predator with a kid in the suburbs. The suburbs. Also, again, very kind of the Predator to peace out for a long stretch of time, so Dutch can booby trap this section of the jungle in broad daylight. Let's talk about how Dutch tied this vine to this log. He wrapped it around one end over and over, and then tied a knot above that. And somehow that multi-ton log hasn't simply fallen straight down out of that not secure <laughs> wrap-around vine condom. Listen, everyone, Dutch made a fire at night in the jungle when he knows an alien killbot with heat vision is hunting him. Heat vision, fire! Here in a bit, when all his traps are ready, he's going to roll <laughs> into the jungle to draw the predator to it. And my point is, why? Why would he ever need to do that with this f***ing signal fire going? <laughs> yeah, no. Unless he chose to test fire that into the most rotten, deadest tree on planet Earth, this arrow is a lot. Of all the evil things predators have done, I think killing a platypus might be the evil. <laughs> if I buy that whole mud on your skin thing, applying it directly next to a raging fire seems counterintuitive. Also, what is he looking at? Did he find a mirror out here? <laughs> Art. I swear if Chris is knocked out right now, I'd take off 50 seconds. <laughs> Would these explosions be counterproductive for the Predator's heat vision? Why wouldn't whatever the Predator version of Smith & Wesson is have developed a more non-explosive weapon system? Oh no, the Predator's unfair space laser is broken? That's too bad. Who needs breadcrumbs when the alien antagonist is bleeding in intervals this regular? Instead of easily killing him here, the Predator traps his skull, then picks him up, then throws him against a tree, then leaves him and walks away and takes off his mask because he wants to fight fair here at the end now that he's fought unfair the whole movie to wipe everyone else out and injure Dutch. Now he wants to make sure it's mono alien. And honestly, <laughs> he can f*** right the hell off. This does mean that the Predator has found a suitable mate, right? That's where this seductive strip tease <laughs> is. Some Predator vision without the mask look like he still sees in heat vision, and other times it just looks completely red. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were just cycling through cool 80s video effects and making it up as you go along. You don't have to read predator to know a good old-fashioned pointless bomb countdown when you see yeah. it. Yeah. I want to be the people's governor. I want to be the people's A final frontier. Okay. This is the end. <laughs> oh god, yeah. When you absolutely positively got to kill every motherfucker in the room, there's no substitute. 
Oh god, that noise. My friend. Oh, friend. For you. <laughs> What's your name? I am Warner of Mortimer. Alas, boy. I knew you, Mauricio. A fellow of infinite jest. Ever since Cinema Sins began, the most requested mm -hmm. thing has been TV Sins. Oh shit. And now it's a reality. Click the link in the description. Oh, below. cool. Check it out. Cool. Um. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. they did bring up a lot of good points. It's a typical. It was the it was the stuff to bring up for a cheesy action flick. The yeah. obvious stuff like. Well, it was still a good movie. It's just a lot of minor little things that was just like, really. Like the stuff with the village. The stupid stuff with the weapons, the fact they didn't continuously use the mud throughout the entire time once you realized it. Yeah, he didn't use it throughout the whole thing, and, and even then, pretty much, it was like a lot of non, uh, non nonsense of walking through the jungle majority yeah. of the time. You know, it's just the, a lot of the little things, pretty much, like that, that they, they did pretty much in the film that's like, if you weren't really a great filmmaker, you wouldn't realize. You would thought, oh, this is a great movie. But if you dive deeper into it, you're like, yeah, there's a lot of minor little hiccups here and there. Yeah, definitely. But overall, it's still, don't get us wrong. It's, besides this, the movie is still a great, solid film, pretty much. Mm -hmm. It still hasn't been a good Predator film that we know of so far that pretty much could top what they were trying, what they did in the first one. Yeah. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button if you want to talk some more about stuff like this. Comment down below if you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Simpsons, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this uh, Simpsons, pretty much for a Predator. Um, if you have a favorite Predator, which one's your favorite? Um, which one do you think did better than this? Or if you thought this one is still the top one, no matter which one has just come out or any other previous ones. You know, put your thoughts and ideas down below. If you think they missed anything, we'd like to hear what you think they may have missed out on. But then what you thought of our reaction overall to this uh, Cinema Sins for Predator. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. It's been a very Predator-filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter. As well as Stardust. At Super React Bros.